Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to modify headings in Word. Styles is a function in Word on the home tab of the ribbon. If you are creating a document with several headings, this function is super useful. You can use the existing settings that are set within Word, or you can create a style completely from scratch and or modify an existing style. If you look in the top right corner, you will see a card that is a tutorial showing you how to create headings from scratch. For this tutorial though, I am going to show you how to modify an existing style. Basically, the preset styles have different formatting attached to them. I'll show you what I mean by showing you the difference between normal style and no space style. So this paragraph right here is normal style. How do I know that? If you look at the top right hand side up here under the screen, you'll see that the gray box right here is around normal. Now if you look at this paragraph, I'll click into it, I will show you the difference here. Look up at the top here while I do this. So here we are in normal and when I click down here, it's in no space. So you'll see that if I click into paragraph for these two paragraphs, you can see the difference in the formatting. So let's just, I'll do that for you. We'll start here. We're in normal and here's paragraph right here. And just in case you didn't know, these returns right here hold all of the coding for formatting. Okay, so I'm just going to click into paragraph and you'll see that for normal, which that paragraph is, it has an after of 12 points. So now we'll click down in here and I'll show you what the no space uh, in the paragraph for after you'll see that it's at zero. Okay so basically when you want to have space before or after your paragraphs that's where you would put that and these styles up here are preset so that the normal uh, paragraph has 12 points after giving you this space and the no space when you press the return you'll see I have two return marks here um, well the return is down here because I have that screenshot in so there is no it's set at zero so there isn't going to be any space that appears between the two paragraph marks and that's how um, word works you, you shouldn't have to when you're typing a document it's, you shouldn't have to go like this to get your space. You don't want to do that. You can have more accuracy by using the before and the after spacing points, which are screenshotted right here. And um, you can actually set it to be um, higher or lower by using these triangle points that are in the box. And I'll just go back there again. And so you can click on these and they'll go up or down. And so you can do it there. You can also do it within line spacing if you want it to be a, a single one and a half double or you could say at least or exactly or multiple so you can just play around to get an idea of, of what of um, how that works the space that you'd like up is what i'm trying to say to set it up so play with them and see if the space is what you want or use the point system and you can even after a while if you know the number that you're using let's say you were using 18 you could just type in 18 here by clicking into there and typing 18 and it'll still work the same way. I'm just going to cancel that though. So if um, you've chosen normal and your paragraphs are still together like this, like if you're up in normal and when you press that return, these paragraphs are still um, stuck together, it's not moving. It's probably because this don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is clicked on. So, and again, that is in here and right here. So, um, what you could do when you come in here is, I'll just show you the quick key. Alt, because it's the underlined letter here in space, if I do an Alt um, C, oh, pardon me. Let's just go back to the quick keys because I'm, I, usually I do things in quick keys. So, if you go down to um, here, you can do an Alt C. And it's not working. How about a control? Oh, that's why. Pardon me. I was doing control C. So alt C will turn that off. So if I had been up here instead of tabbing through to get there, if I do alt C, 
that will turn that on and off. It's like a light switch. And that's how a lot of the word functions do work. It's like a light switch. So if your paragraph, if you set your points and it's still not working, then you know that this is set. So turn it off. And once you do that once, it, it will stay that way. You don't have to do it every single time is what I'm saying. Once you turn it on from that point forward, it will work. So just unclick the box. Another way to make spaces in between your paragraphs is to use the control and zero keys on the keyboard. So I'll show you how that works. This paragraph right here is, I, I have the test here. So let's do the control zero and you'll see that it opens and closes up the space. So you can use that and it will default, I believe it's at 12 uh, points. And uh, so that's how you do that. So now back to the task at hand. To modify any of the styles in the settings above, and the styles are up here in this box, you'll see we have normal, no space, heading, and you'll see as I'm clicking, my text is changing within my paragraph as well to show me what I'm, what I'm uh, in. Right now, this style for this paragraph is set at normal. So here's no space, there's heading one. So we'll just click back in there. But to modify that, um, this is what you want to do. So what you're going to do to modify a paragraph is, I'm just going to uh, put a return down here. So let's say that now I'm typing and I, um, I want to modify the normal uh, style. So you'll click over here in this icon and you'll highlight, um, now let, maybe I want to do heading two, I would just click down here and you'll see that it switches over to there, but let's do the normal. So if I click into the, if I point here, you'll see this triangle and you'll also see this drop down box which tells you what everything is set at in this um, style. So click in there and you'll select modify. And then what happens is you get a um, box here that says that the style is called normal and that it is set at Arial and uh, for the font and if you want to change it you just click on there and pick the font that you want and then you would click on here for the size and if you wanted to change it so that normal was always bolded you would click on that or italicize or underline and then if you see down here we've got this little box here you can click on that format and go through and basically change all of the things up here as well. And there's also more added on. So you could have tabs where you click in and you could set some tabs uh, in here. And I won't get into that. I'll do a separate um, tutorial. It could get too long here going into everything. So you can set basically numbering, shortcut keys, anything that you want to into this style so that it automatically saved that for you. So that's how you modify a style in Word. And um, like I said, I, I will have a, uh, there is a card at the beginning of this tutorial. I know I can't put two of the same cards in, taking you to a video tutorial showing you how to create styles, okay? So hopefully I've helped you and you now know how to modify existing styles in Word. Good luck. I personally love Windows 10 and I think that the issues that we have are usually always user related. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There should be an icon on the bottom right corner.